So in the 1970s, there was a place in Southern California called the Esalen Institute. And not to say a whole lot about them, they basically were in an environment that tested and put to practice hedonism, which is the endless pursuit of pleasure. Do what you want with your body. If you feel compelled to do something, if there's some innate desire, if there is a kind of a, a sensual churning, just do it and engage in it. And that's what they were putting to test at the Esalen Institute. But they they weren't just doing it there. They They began promoting it all over the U.S. And so it went in tandem with the sexual revolution and the idea that you know, who's to say that a book or a religion or a certain group um, should impose uh, a standard over me? I ought to be able to do what I want. And so there was uh, um, a big promotion of hedonism, which is just just pursue pleasure. And, you know, maybe as an idea, it sounds good. Um, you know, what could be wrong with doing what feels right and making yourself feel good all the time? Well, there's a number of things that have uh, proven to be wrong. Uh, number one is that it, it does not take into account uh, how your pursuit of pleasure can hurt other people. And uh, that's been one of the big problems. The other one is um, those who have come out of hedonist perspectives and environments have come to realize not only that the actions were damaging to other people, but that they didn't even fill themselves. You know, the, I, the, the whole thing is I want to make myself feel good, but the people who did it for the longest and who, who went at it the hardest, they're like, it, it didn't work. I mean, that's, there's like a huge, rich history of hedonists who said it did not work. It, it didn't do any good. Uh, there was something more to life. So not only does it hurt other people to pursue pleasure without boundary, but it doesn't even fill self. So, you know, all the promises of good that would come out of it really didn't work. And we're seeing now, about 50 years after the fact, a lot of people that are responding to it. And just to name a couple of them, um, well, first of all, let me highlight it against the backdrop because I think it's interesting that there is, uh, you, you know, there's this industry, um, it's a music industry, um, Hollywood television, they cast this stuff really good. You know, they make it look real nice. Uh, they make uh, people seem like they're real happy, engaged in, in uh, these wild parties and uh, open sex and just doing whatever they want. They make it look real good, but... Um, I do think it's interesting. You know, there's this song by uh, uh, by Hosier, Take Me to Church. And in that song, he's saying, you know, um, the close, basically, this is, this is my own words, but the closest thing that he's ever had to meeting God or having a religious experience is having sex. And uh, in interviews, he's even said it's a reaction against Christian teachings that would say that there uh, are standards for sex. And... Okay, so that's one part of the, the industry. You know, that's, that I think is the primary part of the industry. But here's what, what I think is very interesting, is there are people like Kanye West and Justin Bieber who are coming out of that now. And they're saying, that was a lie. You know, having all the money and fame and drinking and drugs and sex that was available. It, it didn't make us happy. I, that's, I mean, that's what their messages are. Look, you're seeing people who are at the highest point and they're saying it doesn't, it didn't make us happy. And they found Jesus now, what's interesting is that there's another song, uh, a, a fairly recent song, um, and probably a, a number of others like it, but this one by Sean Mendez, In My Blood. And in that song, Sean says, you know, I feel like my walls are caving in. I feel like giving up. 
and he says, you know, I, I mean, he's, he's in the middle of this, I think, the turmoil that hedonism creates. Uh, it always creates turmoil. To say there is no boundary and that you should be able to do whatever you want with your body, again, it doesn't account for what doing whatever you want with your body hurts other people. And it doesn't account for the fact that you are made for a lot more than just doing stuff for yourself. But Sean Mendez said, you know, he's in the middle of this turmoil. He says, I feel like I'm collapsing. I, I just want to give up. I mean, it's 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 horrible. It's a, it's a depression cry. And then he says, they keep telling me uh, take a drink and you'll feel better. Take her home and you'll feel better. So so get high and have sex. Those are the answers that the world can offer. <laughs> That's it. Uh, those are, I, you know, I'm just going to say it. Those are some really sucky answers. Uh, you're having others that are saying that stuff didn't work. And then, but Sean Mendez says this. He knows that that's not, not the answer because he says, they keep telling me that it gets better by doing that stuff. And he says, but does it ever? Like, when's it actually going to get better? And I think that these are cries of people that are longing for their creator Jesus is the reigning king right now. And he gives life. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter what you're currently doing. He will give life. And uh, yes, there is a standard uh, much higher than the standards of man that Jesus uh, requires when you come into his kingdom. But he gives the power to do it. And he forgives us for all the times when we didn't do it. Uh, so I'm going to be putting out a few more videos over the next few days that kind of give some specific rules for maintaining purity. The point of this video is simply to say, look, uh, the sexual message of the world, the hedonistic message of the world has promised pleasure, but it's only brought pain. And, uh, and those who have gone down the road long enough have realized that was not the answer. So there's something else. And his name is Jesus.